Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. It's Sunday, and uh, I'm just kind of taking it easy, catching up on some news. I was over here at uh, my Google Reader, checking out uh, the current event notifications from the NRC. And, you know, uh, everything is always in question here. So I see this off-site notification due to tritium release, and it's a non-emergency. Uh, somehow that doesn't seem right to me. I mean, any time anything radioactive is released into our environment, shouldn't it be considered some type of an emergency? So I, I, I go over here and read on, and um, this is the second entry relate or second or third entry related to this camera failure. Okay, uh, and the camera contained 48 curies of selenium 75. Point that out first. We'll get back to that fact. But as I was reading on here, um, press coverage is not anticipated. Well, that's where you failed. That's where you failed. Because we are the press, uh, us YouTubers, researchers, um, bloggers, etc., etc. And I caught this one, and we are the press, and you should have expected us this is asshole uh the whole deal but so let's go and check out a little bit about this uh selenium 75 because who the hell am i i don't know what this shit is how long what, what the deal is okay working um, uh working with uh selenium 75 may require whole body into a ring dosimeters first of all so it gives off enough radiation that you could be affected and they need to monitor that Radiation safety shall evaluate potential users prior to work with uh, selenium-75. So you have to be evaluated first, and if probably if you ha already have enough radiation in your system, you won't be allowed to because this would top it off and you'll die. I I'm assuming that, so don't quote me. Uh, or you can quote me, but quote that I'm, a I'm, a I'm making an assumption. Uh, any dissymmetry shall be returned by the wearer in a timely manner upon receipt or replacement Dissymmetry uh, samples may also be necessary. Individual protocol will detail specific instructions and requirements for air monitoring. Ventilation is an essential aspect of radiation safety for all procedures involving volatile radioactivity and necessitates precaution in the event of compromise, lack of, or inadequate ventilation. Okay, so the air is supposed to be monitored when there's a release of this, okay, uh, this is non-emergency, non-emergency, but yet people could die from this, and the reason it's not an emergency, folks, is because they don't think the press is going to cover this, but like I stated earlier, we are the press, so anyway, uh, you know, what are you going to do about it now? Not a goddamn thing. But share the information, and maybe somebody else will get the idea that we need to keep an eye on this. So if you have a Google account, you know, you can uh, just add this is all kind every day. Look, uh, more tritium. There's all kinds of stuff. Our environment's being pummeled by the nuclear industry. And, it, you know, we think of it as a need for power. But you've got to think about it. it. It's in the devices in our hospitals. It's all around us. Our, our soldiers are shooting weapons now with radiation in it. They love it. It's killing you. They're going to blame it on everything else that you do wrong as to why you have 32 different types of cancers before your 50th birthday. It's, it's all everything you did wrong. But yet we release fucking tritium in, into the atmosphere inside of a fucking hospital and it's not an emergency and they don't expect that you'll ever find out about it well there's my rant for this Sunday morning so far much love many thanks links will be below